Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. This is Algo Ping Pong, day three. Okay. All right. So, as I mentioned on the Telegram chat, I said that I'll be speaking about candlestick patterns and how they are kind of important in terms of, uh, you know, basically it's how, how, how important it is in the way I trade. Okay. In order to get the up moves, in order to get the down moves, and all of that good stuff. All right. So, first of all, what I look for, like I said, it's uh, it's uh, candlestick patterns, right? Now, like when I talk about candlestick patterns, I'm talking about bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing. Okay, so you guys obviously know what that is. We have bullish engulfing and we have bearish engulfing. Bullish engulfing, right here. That's my pen, right here. Yeah, and any bear, any more bearish engulfings? uh no more example okay bearish engulfing here okay so i use these every single day right and not on the one minute not on the five minute yes yeah, sometimes on the five minute but most of the time on the 10 minute and above okay most of the time on the 10 minute chart and above so what's so significant right now the question is right what's so significant about these candlestick patterns i'll tell you now as we all know, whenever price has to move in a certain direction, it goes above the opening price and drops. Or it goes below the opening price and then it rallies. Yeah. So that's a common characteristic of price on all time frames. Okay. That is a common characteristic of price in all time frames. So when and where exactly are you going to be looking for such a thing? That's the question. Question is, when or when and where are you going to be looking for these supposed candlestick kind of patterns? Now we are trained, right? We are trained to identify confluencing factors of price at premium arrays or discount arrays, right? We are we, we use confluencing factors like, for example, RSI divergence at a bearish short block, some shit like that. <laughs> okay, you could do something like that. Now, instead of using all these indicators, what we're going to be using is the candlestick patterns, right? So, for the people that don't know, for the people that want a refresher, we know that this is a bullish engulfing right there. Okay, that's a bullish engulfing. Uh, let's make this green color. Okay, and what's a bearish engulfing? A bearish engulfing is. Let's have this here and let's copy and paste this right here. That's your bearish engulfing, right? Okay, so when we're looking at these two, how can we visualize price? How could we visualize price? Now, if you look at the bullish engulfing candle, you have the down move and then you have the up move. So we can say that right we can say that the bullish candle is this and the bearish candle is this entire down move here right likewise we can say that when they open price goes up maybe start dropping what do we have we can say that this up move is your up close candle and the down move over here right here is your bearish engulfing candle right so on the lower time frame when price retraces right when price retraces back into these levels okay when price retraces back into these levels what do they look like on let's say the one minute or the five minute chart let's take a bullish example it's going to look like this retracement and then higher this here is your bullish candle this here is your down close candle price comes into it and goes higher so where does price need to come into the down close candle okay now there are instances in which price doesn't necessarily go back into the down close candle instead it goes into the imbalance or fair value gap created inside of that bullish engulfing candle so what's the general rule of thumb that you can apply in order to guarantee your entry Okay, the moment that price enters the engulfing candle, you sell or you buy. Okay, for example, here. Let's look at some examples, right? On the four hour chart, because 
uh, it's what I'm seeing right now. Bullish engulfing candle. See, price comes down into it. All it just fails to enter the order block or the down close candle, and then it goes higher. So if it was me, what would I do? The moment I see that this is a bullish engulfing candle, I'm going to buy as it comes down into it. Okay, I'm going to be buying as it comes down into it. And this is a four hour chart. So I obviously on the lower time frame, I'll have stuff that I'll be looking for. Okay. Right, then over here, bearish engulfing. Price comes into the order block here. Sell off. Okay. Bearish engulfing. Price comes into it. Now you see, this is where you got to use your brains a bit, right? It is objective in nature. But when you see that this is really too far away, you would at least wait for price to come into, into at least 50% and above, right? Okay, you would at least wait for price to come into 50% and above. So at least the 50% right here. Price comes into it, sells off, fails, sells off one more time, fails, and then takes this high up. And from the last video, what do we understand? Running towards the high is a liquidity grab. And that's a manipulation. That's your signal to sell, take out this low or whatever low is over here. Okay, but we are not talking about that today. We're talking about the importance of these candlestick patterns or rather how I use it. Okay, right. So we have bullish, uh, bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing here. It engulfs this candle. Price comes back into the down close and goes higher. There. Hmm. Anything else? Bearish and golfing. Price goes into at least the 50%. Let's see. Let's double confirm. Almost, right? Almost the 50%. And then it sells off. No issue. No issue because I'm showing you examples without context. Just showing you a few examples of the candlestick patterns themselves. Okay? Right. Over here, do we have a engulfing candle? Nope. Why? Because price closes above the body but not above the high of this wick or of this candle. Okay. Here we have a bearish engulfing. After we form the bearish engulfing, we go into the up close here and then we sell off. <clears throat> bearish engulfing. We close below the low, go into the up close and then we sell off. Bullish engulfing? Nope. Massive bearish engulfing. We go at least to the 50%. Let's double confirm. Yep, and then we sell off. Bullish engulfing. Yep, yep. Price goes higher. Attempts to come back into the order block right here. Comes into it, goes higher. Another example over here. And you can see that majority of these examples happen at a POI, at a point of interest, right? So over here, we take out a low. And then we form bullish engulfing and we go higher. That means what? It's bullish. Right over here, right here, you have an order block. Price reacts from it, gives you a bearish engulfing. Boom, sell down. Down we go. Right, the initiation of order flow established by the displacement, right, gives you the context to use this as a bearish engulfing candle. Okay, but what's the point? What's the point of this? The through the use of these candlestick patterns, we are able to visualize that this down move looks like this on the lower time frame. This down move looks like this on the lower time frame. Let's, let's see. Let's, let, let's double confirm. Okay. Let's double confirm. One hour. You see it? Here we go. Here we go. Right, there we go. Now it doesn't have to give you immediate retracement, it's just a random drawing, but that's the idea behind it. Okay, now if you go back to the four hour, right, if you go back to the four hour, remove the replay mode, look at more examples to the left, right? Let's say we look at something like this is this a bullish example? Uh, a bullish example. Is this a, is this a bullish engulfing? No. Why? The body does not close above this high. 
So I will not consider this as a bullish and graphing candle. While it worked, I will still not consider it. Okay. All right. Any more examples? We have this here. This body slightly closes above this high, so it's still a bullish and graphing candle. Price prints it, price comes down into it. Here's your buy. Okay. Now this is purely looking at the four hour with no context whatsoever. All right. So don't confuse this for okay. I saw this on YouTube. This worked in hindsight. I'm gonna boom apply it then and there. Nope, it will not work at all. Okay. You need to have some level of back testing behind your uh, uh behind your uh, pseudo experiences with this idea okay all right let's see more examples uh bullish engulfing here we have bullish engulfing here price comes down mitigates it goes higher comes down one more time mitigates it again and goes higher that's fine we have the bullish engulfing it's establishing what bullish oil flow after doing what taking out the low what's this manipulation Expansion, retracement, higher. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see another one. Mm, here. Bullish engulfing. Price enters the bullish engulfing candle. See, this is small. So what I would do is at the moment this is formed, when price comes into the body of this, I'm going to buy. Goes up. Bearish engulfing here, fifty percent sells off, fails and goes high. That's losing trade. Let's see another one. Okay, here bullish engulfing comes back into it, goes higher. Uh, what's the context though? Context is let's see, is it reacting from a bullish POI? it is it is as your buy but with a when you're looking at it from a bullish engulfing standpoint your buy is over here or somewhere inside here okay price takes out a low forms a bullish engulfing Price can still come back down here. It can still come back down here, right? Uh, would I take this buy? No. I would at least wait for price to come to the 50%, which it did not do. So this is not something I would have taken, but the idea still stands. Okay. Idea still stands. Here, bash engulfing. Nope. Bash engulfing. Uh, not really. It is one, but I don't like the way it looks because it's wiki. No other bash engulfings that can be seen. Okay, here we have bash engulfing, taking out a high, coming and filling in an imbalance. That's your context. So that context supports this bearishness. Therefore, what are you going to do when price reaches this order block? So this is a bash engulfing candle. So okay, that's your cell right there. All right. Okay. Anyways, I guess that's enough in terms of examples, right? So what I want to ask you guys to do is to basically look at these as means of confirmation. Like you don't have to go to the one minute or three minute and look for a change of state or, and all that good stuff, or you don't, you don't have to look for breaks in market structures and all of that. Right. Because if you think about it, go to the five minute chart here. Okay. Actually it was a 10 minute chart. Yes. Here. So today there was a sell on gold, which I believe I sent to the Telegram group, I took the serve from here. Why? And I, I correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section though. I took the serve from here, bearish engulfing, displacement break, range valuation 50%, right there. Bearish engulfing 50%, actually 75%, same thing, pretty much the same thing. And the cell. So we got in the cell over here and we wrote it all the way down here. I wanted to see a retracement back up here, but we did not get it. Price instead just ran the lows the way it did. So that's that happens. It is what it is. But yeah, so if you guys really focus on understanding the concept of bearish engulfing and bullish engulfing, what they actually stand for, right? Because if I take you back here, 
right? And if I highlight this portion of price right here, take you to the one minute, look at how it looks like. See, open, run up, boom. So what does this bullishness indicate? Manipulation. You see, the bullishness indicates manipulation. Huh? Takes out the high, runs towards the high, runs down. So that's, this is what you learned in the second episode or second, I go ping pong day two, the manipulation. Right, yeah. Check the two minute chart. Nothing. Three minute chart. Also nothing. <laughs> nothing. Four minute chart. Also nothing. Five minute chart. Okay, so it was just based on the high time frame, right? So on the 10 minute chart, we got a bearish engulfing. And that was my sign to sell right there, all the way down. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. I, I know it wasn't much in terms of knowledge or in terms of understanding of price action. Uh, this was more to talk to you guys about, um, more geared towards to talk, talk, talking to you guys about the visualization of price, you know. Some might say that, okay, I don't see a break in market structure. I don't see a SMT. I don't see a this. I don't see a that, right? So instead of actively looking for those, the moment you see an engulfing, right, you know exactly what's happening because this over here, right, that, and that move up over there, right? This engulfing, this engulf, the bullish engulfing over here could mean that the candle to the left, the down close was manipulation and the bullish engulfing is that, you know, the start of new order flow. So once you see that, okay, there's a potential start of new order flow, then you know what you can do next. You can look for, you can go to the lower time frame and be like, okay, you know what I'm going to buy from here, I'm going to sell from there. Okay. So again, like I said, I know it's not much, but uh, it would be better if you put in the work and actually uh, are able to see it in the chart, right? See, for instance, we have bullish engulfing here, price comes into it and now we're running up. Why? Because we took out the daily low that's context yeah that's context so yeah guys with that said uh, i hope you guys like this video uh there's more to come obviously like and again like as always <laughs> mentorship is there for the guys that need it and the telegram channel is there for the guys that don't all right so that guys i uh, hope you guys like this video see you guys in the next one next one will be even juicier i promise you right so uh, I won't be posting a YouTube video for another four or five days because this is the second consecutive video I'm posting. Yeah, so with that said, see you guys in the next one. Good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.